We've seen how to add users in the Entra Admin Center as well as the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Now let's take a look and see how we can do this using PowerShell. So I'm going to go to PowerShell. There's multiple ways in there. You can do a search for it. You can right click on it. In Windows 11, you also have the option for Windows Terminal, which is multiple different options. You've got PowerShell as well as Command Line and some other options as well. So I'm going to clear my screen, make it a little bit easier, and I'm going to connect into Azure Enter ID. I'm going to start by typing get dash module Azure AD. And it's still Azure AD instead of Enter ID just because they have not updated all the commandlets yet. But at some point, they may certainly do that. You may also notice I did not use uppercase. That's because you don't have to use uppercase, but you could if you wanted to. Now I want to install that module. So type in install dash module Azure AD. And I'll press yes to continue. And now you see the installation usually takes about a minute to complete, depending on the speed of your computer and internet connection. Next, I'll type connect dash Azure AD. Now it should prompt me for the credentials. And there's my pop-up box to log in. And after putting in my username and password, I am now logged in. I'm going to clear the screen. In order to create a new Enter ID user, we have to start out by putting in what's called a variable, a variable for the password profile. And so you see here a dollar sign password profile fo followed by the new dash object commandlet. And then you see the password profile password itself. That'll be the password that the user uses to log in. So now that that's done, let's take a look at why it is you need to even use these dollar sign commandlets. It's variables are basically used for when you want to type the same thing over and over and over. So for instance, let's say we're going to create 10 new users. We could either use a CSV file and just upload that CSV file, or we could just put in a variable as you see here. In order to create a new Azure Entra ID user, we need to start with the password profile variables. And here they are. And I'll create a separate document that you can use to copy this information to put your own users in. So variables are basically used to be reused multiple times without having to type the same information over and over. And they always start with a dollar sign in front of it. So you know it's not going to be a commandlet when it starts with that dollar sign. A PowerShell commandlet always starts with the verb dash noun, which I'll type next. So let's walk through these different areas. New dash Azure AD user, that's our PowerShell commandlet to create the new user. After that, we have the dash display name, which is going to be the name how you want that user displayed. It doesn't have to be their first name, last name, but it certainly can. After that, you've got the given name, which in this case is the first name, and the surname is the last name. Then we have the dash mail nickname. Now, even if you're not creating a mailbox, you still have to add in the mail nickname. And in this case, I just made it the same name as the login name. So I just put in dstork, and you want to put those in quotes. After that, you have the user principal name, and the user principal name I see here is going to be the name that they log in with. And you also want to put those in quotes as well, especially if you have a space between there because it can't tell what's a space and what's another option. So you always want to put quotes around those responses. And then after that, you've got the password profile, which is definitely leaning back to the first two commandlets that I typed up here. So these are the variables at the top. So when I type in the, a variable with a dollar sign in front of it, it just means it's going to enter in the information that I put in these first two lines. So that way, if I create another user and I put in dash password profile with the dollar sign password profile, it will reuse those again. It's a great time saver that you can use with a lot of different types of PowerShell commandlets. So I'll press enter, account enabled. I'll say yes, I would like that enabled. 
And now the account has been created. Now it hasn't been licensed, so you still need to license that user in order to use all of the features. However, if I go over to my users in Entra and I refresh, we should see Daniel Stork in the list. And there is Daniel. And we can certainly go into here and make some changes to the user account. Or I can go back into PowerShell and make the changes there. Now, it can get kind of complicated making changes in PowerShell that you can make more easily in the Enter Admin Center, but it certainly is possible. It's also very useful if you're importing a lot of users, say, from a merger or acquisition where you've got a lot of users you're bringing into your new Enter ID. I'm going to clear the screen, and now I'm going to create a new group. Creating a group is a lot easier than creating a new user. There's not nearly as many different options. So, for example, in this one, I'm going to create an HR team group that I can add users into either through PowerShell or I can go back into Enter ID and add the, those users to that group there. So starting out, once again, we have the new dash Azure AD group, the display name. And in this case, it's going to be called the HR team. It's not going to be mail enabled, but you certainly can make this group mail enabled so they can receive emails to this group. And then the security enabled is true. So it is a security group. And a security group and a distribution list are two different things. I can assign resources to a security group, whereas I can only assign email users to a distribution list in order to send email off to everybody, but they can't be assigned any types of resources, such as storage or anything else. And then the mail nickname I put in is just HR team. And now that group has been created. Let's confirm once again in Entra that this group is here. So I'll go over to my groups and I'll click on all groups and I'll scroll down and there's my Entra team. And once again, I can add members here or I can do it once again through PowerShell. Since this is an intro course, I just wanted to show you basic creation of users and groups. It can get a lot more complex if you'd like to, where you can add a lot of different options and variables in case you wanted to do this all through PowerShell. You will, as a cloud administrator, use PowerShell for managing Entra ID. You may not do it on a regular basis, but you may end up doing it if you you need to uh, perform a task that may not be possible using just the website. Adding users and groups in Entra ID, along with many other commandlets, allows you to manage Entra ID in PowerShell.